So you want to make a video with a friend who doesn't live in the same area as you. So you can't, they, they can't come over and hang out and edit a video together. But you've got a friend far away, Melanie over here. I. <laughs> who you want to collaborate with. DaVinci Resolve almost makes that work because it has this live collaboration feature, which means you can talk to the other person and move timelines around, do stuff and resolve all at once. But the only problem is it doesn't work over the internet. You can only do it if you're on the same local network. So like, why aren't you just working on the same machine anyway? It's pointless, it's crazy. So what we're gonna do today is set up live collaboration over the internet using an app that I wrote. <laughs> internet. Internet. <laughs> the first step is if you go to the Mac OS um, download uh, and the, the table there, Mac OS app, me? click that. Yep. And it'll start a download of the app. And while you're downloading the app, I'm going to set up the server. We're going to be setting up a server on Mac OS. So we come down here to the server on Mac OS instructions. We have to install Homebrew by copy and pasting this into the terminal and running it. And then we brew install WireGuard tools and Python 3 and a bunch of other requirements. And eventually we get to the point where we can download the code of the server and run it. So I'm going to download the zip file um, of the source code for Resolve Mission Control. And it's done. Okay, and we're opening it up. And now I'm going to open up a terminal window. And I'm going to I'm going to go into this RMC folder. So I'm actually going to type CD space, drag this RMC folder over here and hit enter. And now we're inside of this folder. So now I can type uh, Python or sudo S U D O Python RMC server dot UI. And I'll type in my password. And now we've launched the server. Okay, so now I'm going to create a couple of things. Uh, I'm first going to configure the server. I'm going to give it a password. Melanie, what should I make the password for this whole enterprise? Um, sunflower58. <laughs> sunflower58. Okay, sunflower58. 58, all lowercase. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I put it in there right. Okay, and then I'm gonna define a, a port, a TCP port where the authentication will happen over. You'll have to port forward this on your router. So make sure you pick a port that is port forwardable. So I'm gonna do 55555, five, 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 just cause that's five fives, rather nice. <laughs> Quite and like then, that. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pick a subnet, so I'm gonna pick Melanie's favorite number is three, so I'm going to pick the three subnet. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do 3.0.0.0 slash 24, which means we can assign IP addresses from 3.0.0.1 all the way to 3.0.0.254, I think. So anyway, you get 250 users, essentially. So I'm click OK. And now we've initialized the server. Now I'm going to create the tunnel, which I'll put on UDP port uh, 55555. Click OK. So the port 55555 I already opened on my router and pointed it to my machine. So I said, any traffic that comes to the port 55555, send it to this computer on the network. So that's all ready to go. And now, we're ready to create a, a remote user, somebody who can connect to the server. So I'm going to create Melanie. And Melanie, I'm going to make your assigned IP 3.0.0.3. Got it. And hit, hit OK. So now it's created Melanie. So click OK. <laughs> I've been created. You've been created. <laughs> <laughs> and now we can authenticate you. So I'm going to activate authentication on the server. And now it's serving the authentication. Now with authentication activated, we can have Melanie connect to my server and get added to the tunnel. So Melanie, now what you're gonna do is double click on Resolve Mission Control. Boop, boop. And it's gonna tell you something because my code isn't 
super duper notarized yet. It says they don't know if it's malware or not. So just click OK. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> and then go to System Preferences. Uh, it's the little cog next to you. There you go. And then go to Security and Privacy. Up one and... Uh, yeah, there. <laughs> and then go to... Go to General at the top. And then there's... See that thing at the bottom? It says Resolve Mission Control was blocked. Yeah. So click Open, open anyway. anyway. And it'll remember that. Um, so, and then click Open. Hey! And we're in. <laughs> Welcome. Whoa. Okay, so now click Authenticate. And then type in your username, which is Melanie with a capital M. And then your, the server IP is going to be my, loc my uh, external IP address, so the IP address I have on the internet. So I forget what it is, so I'm just going to look it up real quick. Right. And then server port is the port that I just defined, which was 55555. And then the server password, what did we make it? Sunflower? Sunflower 58. 58, I think. So now if you hit OK, and on my side, I'll see authentication <gasps> of Melanie is complete. <laughs> yeah! And that means that you've been added to my configuration. And y you have to save now a, a WireGuard file. So save it on your desktop or somewhere, somewhere that's not too cluttered. <laughs> OK. Everything's cluttered. <laughs> <laughs> so this file is going to tell you or tell your um, machine how to connect to my machine, basically. So yeah, Do you I have a save it. as link? Like, should, should I name it anything specific? Yeah, name it whatever you want the tunnel to be called. Johnny Tunnel, maybe. And then put it somewhere on your on your hard drive that's easy to get to. Yeah, and you can always move it. It's just a, uh, it's actually a one time thing. So hit OK and save. Wonderful. Okay, so now you can click that button that says Connect to Tunnel, and it's going to redirect you to install this app called WireGuard. So click Open, and it's going to open browser tab for you. Nice. to install WireGuard. So just go ahead and install that in, yeah. And in the meantime, on the server side, I'm going to turn on the tunnel. So I'm going to activate tunnel. And over here, you'll see a WireGuard has activated. Good to go. Now we just got away from Melanie. Right. Oh, should I open it? Yeah, open it up. Okay. So now you have WireGuard launched. Click cool. Import Tunnel from File. And then go to your desktop and select the file that you saved. There it is. Johnny Tunnel Conf. Oh, you're in the yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> Import. And then click Allow, because it's going to create a VPN for you. Ooh. And then hit Activate. And now, watch this. <gasps> oh, I have to click Allow. So now that Melanie's connected to me, I have to click Allow Connection on my side. Now you're connected to my internet connection. That's so crazy. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? So, and I can see what the, the ping is, how long it takes for a message to get to and from me and you, and it's about 70 milliseconds, which is cool. And you can actually, if you open up the Resolve Mission Control app that I created, ah, there we go, like 40 milliseconds. Oh! So that's how long it's taking to communicate with my machine. That's so cool. Isn't that great? Okay, so the next step is to get us connected on Resolve. Okay. So what I'm going to do is create a, a new database for us mm -hmm. to, to work on. So on the app, there's this plus button up here for creating a resolved database. So we're going to click plus. I'm going to create a username. What should our username be, Melanie? Uh, snowman333. OK. <laughs> snowman333. What should the, the password for that uh, username be? Um, Cloudy day five five five. <laughs> okay, cloudy day. Let me paste it in just to be sure. Yeah. Five five five. Okay. Boop. Okay. And then what should the database be called? Brian May. Brian May. Okay, that's <laughs> it. Brian May. Okay, so can okay, click OK, and then it just created the database. So I click OK, and. It's not really ready to be connected to by Melanie because I actually need to 
connect to it on my local machine first for it to become a resolve database. So I'm going to type in its name, Brian May. The location is on my local machine, so it's 127.0.0.1. The username was snowman333, password cloudy day 555. We're going to connect. And by connecting, it's now going to create the database that we can connect to. And it's done. OK, so now Yay. we have new, no new projects, but, but at least we have a database. So I'm actually going to create a new project. And I'll call it Queen. <laughs> so now, Melanie, you're going to connect to that same database. So cool. if you click on the connection icon in the top left of this uh, app, do you see that little, the two arrows that go like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one? And click that. And then you're going to type, database IP is my IP. So if oh. you ever forget what it is, if you move the, um, move this little window to the side. So do you see how it says 3.0.0.1? Yeah. You're going to use that IP because that's my IP inside of our, our little tunnel. Got it. Or yeah, local tunnel thing. And the database name is Brian May. Like there you go. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. So what this means is that I haven't connected to the Brian May database on my machine yet using the server. So I actually have to click that connect. I have to connect to it by clicking on its little database icon. If you just deactivate authentication and then activate it again, it will add all the current users in the user list that are authenticated into the server authentication list. So now basically toggle authentication and then it should update the database that you've selected in the database selector. Now try connecting again. So click OK. okay and unfortunately, I have to type it back in. So all good. Nice. Okay. Click OK. And voila! <gasps> so now you're connected to my Resolve database. And now the last step is to actually connect you in Resolve. So click Export mm -hmm. Database Access Key at the bottom there. This one? Mm-hmm. And then, again, I, I just just throwing this file. Call it uh, Brian May or <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Now Got you're on you. your desktop. Just double click on uh, Brian May dot Resolve DB key. So now it, it's going to open Resolve, and it's going to put you in my database. And Resolve. There it is, Brian May. <gasps> Beautiful. And so you click there, and it should connect you. After the pinwheel of death? Yeah, so sometimes connecting the first time takes a while. But there's Queen. So I'm going to quickly make Queen a, a, a live collaborative. And enable, I'm going to enable collaboration on this Queen project, which makes it so that you can actually be in it at the same time as me. Mm. So I'm going to click Enable, and I'm going to hop back in. And then go ahead and uh, open it up. <clears throat> and now it's loading. And in a moment, I shall see that you have connected. You're connected! <gasps> Whoa! So, so go down to the little chat icon in the bottom right. Bottom right. And this, this is like the fastest, yeah, this is the fastest way to test if it's working. So I'm going to say hello. Do you see that? <gasps> yep. Send me something. Hey. <laughs> and so it's funny, your, your username is something very strange. It says it's something about Amazon AWS. It's very, very weird username. So if you go down to the next to the chat <laughs> icon, there's a little, a little uh, users icon. And just yeah. change, change your name to like Melanie. And I'll change mine. <laughs> That's so to Johnny. Aloha! <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> awesome. this is so cool. Isn't that awesome? So, oh. And that's kind of it. Wow. That's Resolve Collaboration. That's Resolve Mission Control. What do you think? I think it's freaking cool. Isn't that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like the simplest VPN setup I've ever experienced. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know, it just looks pretty, it works well. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I like it. Yeah. With that, this is Johnny. This is Melanie. Signing <laughs> off. <laughs>